Hey everyone! So this is just a little mini episode, an addendum to episode 3 if you will, because, well, I fucked up. In episode 3 you saw me taking apart the speedos, but what I didn't realise is there's a small return spring in there that has to be under a specific tension, so when I removed the needle that tension was released and the speedo is no longer accurate. So what I now need to do is recalibrate the speedo. I did some googling and it seems the best method is to drive your car at a constant speed using a GPS to measure it and set it from that. Unfortunately Misty is not even slightly road legal at the moment, so I'm now going to attempt to recalibrate the speedo using nothing more than a jack, some axle stands and a cheap bicycle speed computer. Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and get the speedo roughly right. So when I turn it on, that's roughly zero. So I'm going to pull the needle off and put it so it has a small amount of spring tension acting on it. Right. Turn it on again, it moves a little bit and drops down. I don't know if that's right, we'll soon find out. Right, now I've got the rear wheels off the ground, it's time to hook up the bike speedo. In this we have speedo. And cable ties, wire and this thing. Now this normally would clip on the spikes of a bicycle and then as it rotates it would trigger this doodad and tell the bike how fast it's going. Now, I've got to tell this, the circumference of that wheel, so it can calculate the speed. And it expects you to do maths. Measure the diameter. 605 millimetres. 605, 3.1415926, 1900. There are so many things that could go wrong with this. I'm going to start by letting it idle in first and just see if everything works. Six miles an hour. Ten on the bike. Ten on the car. We're now in second gear. So the car says 20, the bike says 15. So. Okay. 20 and 20. Got the third gear. Get to 30. 30, 30. I think we're good. seem to work even better than I expected to be honest. Um, if you find yourself in the same situation and uh, you need to calibrate your speedo but your car's not road legal or even if it is road legal I reckon that method's a hell of a lot easier than trying to do it while driving. So get yourself a bike speedo and give it a try. Of course the final test will be when we actually get it out on the road and we can compare it to a GPS but I'm pretty confident that that's an accurate speedo. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.